Agri-science teacher Katherine Dalton has never let a little heat or humidity stop her from coming here. There's a lot that is definitely learned in the greenhouse. With hundreds of plants sprawling throughout, the greenhouse needs daily attention and upkeep, something Dalton has taken on all on her own. Making sure that the plants are getting watered every day, taking out the trash, going through the plants and maintaining them with the summer heat peaking here in July. Typically, students in the AgriScience Magnet Program, located on 20 acres of the Madison High School campus, help out in the summer. But this year, due to COVID-19, that all changed. Without students, and they don't realize how, how beneficial they are. It's been a challenge for Dalton to run the greenhouse all on her own, but she's happy to do it and looks forward to the time when students can get involved again. In here, the hope is to make some videos, but also to put together some kits for the students that they can pick up, then take home and do hands-on with the video. Ideally, we don't want our students to completely lose that hands-on aspect. She says one of the main goals in the AMP program is identifying internship opportunities so students can gain valuable skills through real world experience. So with many ag students stuck at home right now, they're getting creative. I've got a student who is taking plants that she's learned to propagate succulents in here and she's using that as a side business as she's been in college. She's finding something to do with her time and it's skills that she learned in this greenhouse, which is really rewarding to see. And that rewarding feeling is something she's been lucky enough to experience as an educator for almost a decade. I am actually a product of NEISD. I am an alumni of James Madison High School and I went through the AgriScience Magnet program and I knew from then on I was gonna be an ag teacher. Dalton plans to continue coming back here every day to keep the greenhouse up and running. So when students do come back, it'll be ready for some hands-on learning. I think agriculture is very valuable. This is the future, this is how we sustain life, and it's something that people need to have at least a little bit of education on.